Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments. And ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey racing fans, welcome back to another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. Well, with the summer racing meets behind us, it's now time to look forward to the Breeders' Cup out here in Santa Anita Park this year. I can't wait. We'll have some big races, obviously, preparing horses and leading up to the World Championships. But today we're going to get started. I'll be covering the distaff this year for Horse Racing Nation. And we're going to start off by just going over a few of the major contenders. Wow, what a distaff it should be. Things shaping up beautifully. Hopefully everyone will remain healthy and we'll have a great race. Well, there's four major contenders at the moment. Things obviously can change. But they're led by the undefeated three-year-old Philly Songbird. The, Medaglia, the daughter of Diaglia Maduro. For Jerry Hollendorfer and Fox Hill Farms is 10 for 10. The champion two-year-old filly from last year just ran off two impressive victories at Saratoga, including a victory last time out in the Alabama when she was impressive and probably even regressed a little off of her coaching Club Oaks win. Wow, she's done nothing wrong, obviously, to this point. She'll run in the cotillion at Parks leading up to the Breeders' Cup, and then we get to see her take on the older fillies and mares. I can't wait. She'll be tough to beat. But this will be much more of a test than she's faced against her own age so far. And her main competition will be two more Southern California horses. First off, obviously, it looks like six-year-old champion Mayor Beholder will be running in the Zenyatta at Santa Anita on October 1st. And then she'll probably go uh, to the Distaff instead of what it looked like a classic. I would assume that Richard Mandela will avoid California Chrome and try to get another win in the Distaff. The six-year-old Mayor has been defeated twice in a row. Most most recently in the Pacific Classic, before that in the Clementel Hirsch, but she's still running very well, maybe a little bit off from her previous campaigns. But Mandela will have her ready for two big races to end her six-year-old campaign. It'll be great to see her back at Santa Anita twice before the end of her campaign. And then you have the four-year-old filly, the daughter of Curlin, stellar win for John Sadler and Costa Horonis. Stellar wind, came back in the Vanity Mile and was defeated by a beholder, then turned the tables under an excellent ride for Victor by Victor Espinoza in the Clement Del Hirsch. She took off time and now will be ready for the Zenyatta at Santa Anita and then the Breeders' Cup this staff if all goes well. It'll be very interesting to see just how good she is. She may have snuck up a little bit on Beholder and Mandela, or at least he claims so, in the Clement Del Hirsch. I can't wait to see her run. She looked incredible on the track last time out. It'll be great to see her compete with the best of the best in the Breeders' Cup distaff. And then you have the best of the East Coast right now. You have Cavorting, the daughter of Bernardini for Kira McLaughlin and Stone Street Stables. Many, including myself, thought she was just a one-turn animal. She proved us all wrong in the grade one personal ensign last out with a last to first voyage under Javier Castellano. It will be neat to see her probably do this, try the same tactics in the distaff. Hopefully she makes it to the race and cavorting a big shot of classy, fast filly. It's just, you know, you're, we're wondering if the two turns she, she excelled at Belmont in those big one turn races. I can't wait to see how she stands up to the best of the West at two turns. It should be interesting. So the top four, you've got Songbird, you've got Beholder, you've got Stellar Win, and you've got Cavorting, four incredible Phillies and Mares. Then you've got another, another solid group of what will be long shots in this race. We'll go over them in the future. Next week, we'll look at a couple of my all-time favorite versions of the Distaff. But until then, enjoy racing. You got Belmont Park going on. You got Los Alamitos out here. I can't wait till Santa Anita gets started at the end of the month. Have a great one. And as always, good luck at the windows. <music>